Australian golfer Robert Allenby, who says he was abducted, bashed and robbed during a trip to Hawaii, maintains he hasn't lied and the facts will clear his name. The story stays exactly the same as the way I told it. Um, I told you what I, what I knew and I told you what someone told me. Um, and that's the bottom line. I never lied to anyone. I only told you what I knew and what someone had told me. That is the bottom line. Over the last week, witnesses have emerged offering different accounts of what happened to the golfer. This homeless man says he came across Allenby the night he claims he was bashed and says the golfer was not thrown from a car but fell and hit his face on a rock. It took him about like nine minutes before he got to his senses and then when I got him off of his feet, I said, OK, sure, check if you have everything on you, you know. And then he, he, that's when he noticed, no, I ain't got my phone and my wallet. A US report suggests that Allenby ran up over $4,000 on a bar tab at a Honolulu strip club the night he sustained his injuries. Robert Allenby's claim of being kidnapped, beaten and robbed after a Friday night out at a Waikiki wine bar has come into serious question by the police, no less. Speaking in Phoenix, Arizona, before the next PGA Tour event, Allenby says he feels unfairly targeted by the media. All of a sudden, you're, you're putting all the blame on me. So um, I take full responsibility. If, if I did do something wrong, I have no, question, no, no problem in the world in uh, owning up to uh, if I did do something wrong. But as I said, from about 11.06 to about 1.27 a.m., I have no memory in my brain. I have nothing.